or five minutes. I don't think I played in the five minute formatics. I think I played in bullet formatics. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's go here, Vincetto. We've got a nice control over D4. I think F5, F4. Mm, go on, D5, please. No. Nope. F5 square. This bishop looks good. He's very quick, really, isn't he? Um, I'm going to blunder this pawn. Or was that intentional? Queen f6, queen e6, queen c7, queen e6. The impression maybe rook c2. Queen e6, rook c2. Right, let's check. The pawn safeguard is free, free. We've got a 3 to 2 pawn majority. Not, I'm not sure what that's got to do with the opening. Not much, probably. Um, that's c4, rook a3. Let's play this without rook g6. At the moment, rook g6 is not totally on the cards. I'm going to take on a2, get another pawn. And there's another one. Also, this will threaten mate. Might as well do that for a laugh. <clears throat> There's rook b2 c3. I think we're in the driving seat here. He's resigned. Good start, guys. Well done. <laughs> we're in the driving seat in this tournament. We've won. We got through that first hurdle. <clears throat> Try this g6 again. I mean, it's a rare move, g6. Um, it's something I nearly prepared for uh, in one of my FIDE tournaments. Nearly prepared to play against an IM, but I drew anyway. I didn't spend hardly any time against this IM in, in last year's um, classic. I drew very comfortably. It was actually one of the most comfortable draw ever with an IM in the Royal Lopez. It was the Roy Plays like classical, uh, sort of classical variation, which another famous I am on YouTube actually was was quite helpful to help me prepare. Um, okay, so f4 or e4 takes f4, bishop moves. What does it do? What about knight d4? The queen's still in the center. Play knight d4. Takes, takes. Bishop moves. Rookie here. Rookie there. Rookie there. This looks crushing because the queen's. What's the queen doing there? Okay. Let's not ima imagine that the opponent's moves necessarily are grandmaster moves. Um. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Squish the bishop. E three. E three. E three. There's knight takes. Oh. Right. Let's not lose on time. Let's just take this knight for enough. Mind you, mind you, rook g one is a pain. Give that. Actually, I had rook g two. We had rook g two. Sorry, blame me. We had rook g two. We didn't need to have that casualty. That was dumb. Super dumb. Get this guy. Don't want to get. Don't want to get us mated here. Okay, we're mating. We're mating. It's okay. It's not pre-move. It's not pre-move that. It's black to move. Dot 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 means black to move, right? We've berserked though. I was expecting ED move on. It was a bit of a shock to see the knight actually. I thought, thought we'd just blunder the piece there. Thankfully not. So Bishop B3 coming up. We can put the queen here. And swing over. And we can play here. This diagonal is more sensitive than usual with this F6. And swing over for F4. That's Bishop B3. Well, there's Queen G7. Hold on a sec. And we can threaten potentially something. <clears throat> I think Knight C3, Knight D5, Knight takes. There's Queen takes. But it's worth noting these forcing moves anyway. E5 if takes. There's takes. But if takes, it's worth noting them. Knight c3 to get the bits out. Hello, hello. Rook's connected. That's good. Knight d5. I've just blundered the bishop. Sorry about that. Whoops. <laughs> I just blundered the bishop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, panic stations. We'll play for e5 now. But anyway, the king's in the center. I We shouldn't panic so quickly. The king's still right in the center, yeah? It, it seems to be a difficult position in any case. <laughs> so e5 looks good in any case because the knight's also having quite a strong influence here. Let's, let's do this just in case. <laughs> well, there's knight takes c7 winning the queen now. So we're on, on the rook. Uh, also, e5 looks good. Okay. Don't tell me that's winning the queen. It's kind of winning the queen. We can get the rook at least, I think. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 1 minute 35. This game has been much trickier than I'd imagined. So we're down to 1 minute 30. Panic stations. Pan no, let's not panic. But it's much trickier than imagined. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Gordon Bennett. I'm, we're going to lose for 1550, or rather, I'm going to lose for 1550. There's another opportunity. If you want to disassociate, I, I can stop saying we. I've because we, <laughs> we've really cocked this game up big time so far. <laughs> One minute ten. Somehow all of the opponent's pieces are coordinating. Okay, he's, he's giving us a chance. Getting some material back. Yes, he's given us more of a chance now. There's a sporting fellow, this guy. Scare, wasn't it? <sighs> no, we don't want to stalemate, do we? I think King C1 is possible, or King C2. Let's keep the checks up to avoid a stalemate. Okay, yeah, that that was. A <laughs> I don't know. So we're playing this Fiancetto system. coming up or oh, f f4 kind of wins the bishop doesn't it without too much compensation let me take the pawn to the bishop Drop the bishop back. Ninety five. Drop the bishop back. That was ninety five check. I don't think it matters. I'm just king here. Right, try and challenge this queen. Putting pressure on the e4. sort of fix down things and plan the dark squares so this is bishop e5 queen g3 going for this construction this check i'm not sure it's a big deal Famous last words, I didn't see that one. There's a check there, bishop f4. 
So I think we're going to make on H2 now. Five. Bishop d5 is interesting. Now here, because if knight goes back, we can win a piece. No, we're not winning a piece. Are we? No. Hmm. <clears throat> Knight g5, queen h5. I'm playing play like this. Um, maybe. Actually, th this was hanging. Okay, blame me for that. Sorry, I I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> ah, the knight was hanging, wasn't it? Ah, okay. Yeah. Um. Right. There's ed. Okay, we're hitting the queen. Um, maybe, maybe this is strong anyway. It's it, it looks pretty strong because if it takes, we're hitting the rook. Quick queen h5 is um, or queen f3 actually hits the diagonal quite hard as well as f7. Um, so we're threatening um, f7 and c6. So, I mean. It, it looks like an overwhelming position anyway. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't mean that helps matters. Just, we'll just take that. So apart from a8 and f7 hanging, black's position is fine. So queen takes f7. Now, hmm. this position. I think we can win prosaically. I think that's nice by prosaically with rook h5. So if takes, I think we can take here, takes queen h5 mating because that bishop's controlling g8 so rook h5 well it seems to lose the bishop we say rook takes this queen g8 mate so i think rook h5 D4, I'm thinking take um, yeah, F5 without this diagonal being a problem. So, this to support F5 without this being a pain. G5 knight here, G4. 
So if it closes center, welcome that, I think. And there's, there's going to be pressure on E5. We could play knight here, takes G4, knight D4, F3, takes knight F4. I mean, that, that looks like good for a laugh anyway. So we'll play that. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we're hitting the bishop we're hitting g2 now if we take this pawn queen h4 knight h3 mating so probably a good idea to take the pawn. E5 check the king moves. There's no battery just yet. Doesn't matter about this pawn so much. If we if we can get the mate, doesn't matter about the pawn. In fact, it doesn't probably matter about that either. Who cares? Knight H3 is really a good idea. Famous last words. Okay, I think Knight H3 is a good idea. <clears throat> E5 check, king here, I think it's knight h3 and rook f2, uh, takes king h1, there must be something after that. So we have Amadan spectating this. Amadan, hello. Amadan, I've heard you're a strong player in real life. What's your Fido rating? Oh my god, chess bra. You're watching this as well. <laughs> is this is this is this Eric? Eric, is that you or or or, or um Hamilton? I forgot his name. First name. Um. <laughs> Okay, so honoured to have a GM spectating this five minute game. <laughs> it's good luck in the world's um, rapid and blitz uh, championship, if it's Eric. I, I, I posted on the Reddit thread. I posted on the Reddit thread. Yeah. So over the years, Eric, you'll get these moaners moaning about anything. Yeah. And I come across, you know, you can only please certain people some of the time. Yeah, you can't please all the people all the time. It's a very important thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so knight h3. Now, is this mating or not? Knight h3. Uh, I, I don't know. Might not be. Maybe takes is safer because if queen takes knight f3 the queen has to be lost unless this pawn's queening or something there's probably something really incisive here but so i'm going to do the simple move which probably fails i'm hoping it doesn't knight h3 is threatening mate it should win the queen uh, shouldn't it as long as long as there's no backfire major backfire with this pawn and this and this stuff then it should be okay but queen f2 seems to be checkmate here okay
Oh, okay. Um. Yes, I, I have been mostly exclusively playing Bullet uh, up until this point on, on, on Lee Chess. Um, somehow, whoop, 15 seconds before we get defaulted, playing in the in the Blitz Marathon, uh, I did see something which was fun, that you could berserk every single game, nearly, uh, or, more, or a greater percentage of games and still win, and get a crushing lead in tournaments. So I thought that's, that's a bit of a fun thing. Yeah. <laughs> And also, of course, there's more time for commentary. So, more commentary and more points, uh, basically. So, F5, F4. <laughs> but you have to be able to take being bashed by potential engine abusers. There's a big downside. You can be bashed totally to smithereens. I mean, seriously, you can be completely, ut utterly humiliated by engine abusers. But apart from that, you know, it's all good, yeah? <laughs> Bullet chess remains the safest time control on the internet. I'm watching out for knight g5 here. I think d5 doesn't lose immediately. I'm hoping it doesn't lose immediately. So e4 or f4. Maybe e4 is possible, but it gives that f4 square. Takes might be possible. I, I don't know. I think this is worse now, this position for us say we it's it's just the choice of lesser evils at this point is it maybe f4 and then e4 and then knight f5 let's just get this f5 square with the dice structure with pressure on d4 with knight f5 All right does that yes dangerous So I'm hoping not, we're not going to be mated. Try and safeguard h7. Okay, we get this f5 square. We don't, don't want to allow g6. Try and keep control of f5, h7, g6. Defensively, if we get a knight's f5 without dropping d5, play rook d8. So play rook d8, knight f5. Nice blockade. But there's always something like rook h6. Maybe we can take get a loose piece on g1 rook h6 we can take that protect d5 clear was playing knight f5 okay that holds h6 a bit better there's knight d4 here bishop h8 is protecting there's also king f7 i think we can take here the queen here right so what's the threat if we can get this guy away then rook f4 knight e2 if we can get that guy away for rook f4 f5 is not on the cards at the moment trebling might be but there's king f7 so i wonder about b5 b4 there's only 50 seconds this is a great way to lose on time also there's this idea actually i just noticed just going for a mate oh dear um no it's too late b5's hanging now wing then d5's hanging great e3 again with d5 protected I want to play e3 second time round with 33 seconds this time. Bit lucky, too much. I think we're under too much time pressure there. That was pushing pushing the boat out too much.
some dynamic play here. This is not good. But I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, he hasn't accepted that. We have a dull position. <clears throat> is he going to take? Good. Um, does this drop mm, d4? Not just yet. d4. Bishop f5. e5. Oh, blocks in the bishop. Also weakens the diagonal. It's sorting that one out. Unless knight g5, h5, knight g5, h6, h5. Bishop f7 is e6. h5 just drops the knight. If we take the bishop pair off, we we'll take the bishop pair off. Let me get the queens off. And this is bishop e5. Thanks. I don't think so. Knight e2. Can we get to play knight f4? The deep d5 and e6. Nope. One minute twenty seven. Mm. Reinforce the sense about weaken H four. Oh, queen E seven, Queen C six. Um C five. There's always C seven. So rook here, let's go over here, that's queen c7, that's rook d7. We take first. Rook d4, rook d4. There's also h5 is an idea. Okay, reinforce here. Oh, it's, it's pinned, it's pinned, hold on. I'll tell you something that was aesthetically beautiful that I witnessed once. It was the final position of uh, Smyslov, Vasily Smyslov, former world champion against Dimitrios Agnos in Lloyd's Bet Masters. I don't know, there was something so aesthetically beautiful about the final position. Smyslov has broken through on the queen side. I think he'd done um, amazing stuff. Um, anyway, A takes B, oh, there's a check. Let's not be complacent. So I think Rook takes the check, winning the Queen. Then there's C takes though, hold on. Extinguishes and a Rook. So yeah, I, sometimes I find the final position of games quite fascinating. Then you wonder, how did that happen? Okay, rook here. Yeah. Rook d6. We're just going to take her all the check. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, we're doing okay in this tournament so far. It's a reasonable start. Uh, 36 points. Every game berserked. 100% berserk. Right. Two and a half minutes. There was some time pressure experienced in some. Not too much. Okay. Let's go. Wait for Black to move. This is the rank two hard to beat. Oh dear. So I've just berserked the rank two. Now normally you don't want to do this. Berserk the rank two because they're probably in good form, right? He's moving pretty quick, isn't he? It could be a dangerous customer. He looks to be confident. We're going to move this knight around here. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, yeah, I think he's got an advantage. I think he's played quite thematically. N not to panic, but see, I think now taking and b4 get the d4 square. So this is a start with position or crush b4. Uh, maybe it's like strategically lost. I don't know, but he didn't do it. Okay, he didn't do it. All right. In fact, he's just dropped the bishop. Okay, po probably he's not using um, a mainframe computer. He, he dropped the bishop. Uh, uh, so I think we're in the driving seat now. Um, <laughs> uh, he's just very quick, isn't he? Very quick. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, right quick to lose as well okay all right this is a 2153 this would be funny wouldn't it two berserking a 2153 here and he's not in the rankings or oh, he's ranked seven no he's in the rankings he's ranked seven and get a blockade all right so c6 and, and just try and blockade and maybe maybe like this to knight g6 bishop e6 so bishop e6 all right so there's also knight h4 on the cards or knight h4 here just as well trying to undermine d4 trying to knock out a defender for d4 right so is f5 possible because that would expose d4 right if it took it takes we're exposing d4 there's also g4 blocking in the bishop nearly okay. nearly there is a blockade on f5 just about with the knight the rook the bishop so I don't think f5 is happening too quickly after g4. I don't think. I think we're okay at the moment. I think. With f4. Oh, hang on a sec. Panic stations. Maybe queen b6 is needed. Because this, this seems to be losing. So queen b6, we take one pawn, we take another. There's pressure on the king side. There's also bishop e5. Knight a4. No, it's queen d4. This is probably a losing position though, because, okay, it takes, takes. Okay, we're going to do this anyway. It's just winning f5 at the end of it. Unless we play f4. No, I think uh, it's a losing position. Right. Yeah, it's a losing position. F4. Hmm. And this, like Queen H3, is useful. Queen H3. Right. So, you know, Bishop E5 at some point. Uh, if Rook G5, Rook F1. Oh, the clock situation is not brilliant. There's Queen takes F1. I wouldn't have thought that's too handy. G four G three. I, th I think it just takes and comes to her. Let's 
This knight is not coming in the game just yet. And it takes some bishop e5. There's bishop e5. If it takes rook f1, it takes here. We've got a wave of bishop e5. No, we haven't got a wave of bishop e5. It, it looks losing. This is losing. This is losing. Lost. Twenty-seven seconds. It's lost on time. It's lost on position. Apart from that, it's okay. Um, try and get the king over here. Twenty-four seconds. Has it got over two minutes? Over two minutes. Oh, that was 96. And the game. Yep. Casualty. <laughs> the lead is, is quite large here. I don't think it matters from at all about you. Yeah. Okay. It's probably someone I. It's, it's difficult to berserk unless you're a top Canadian grandmaster. <laughs> ah. C4. Ah, hold on, hold on. Can't do an illegal move for a sec. Uh. <laughs> slightly easier than the previous game. This it looks slightly as though we're going to win here. This looks like a small advantage for White. Quick free free point. <clears throat> this, oh, I don't really want to try again against them. We just lost the last one, yeah. No, we, we didn't. Hold on, we didn't lose the last one against them. It was against someone else. So he's only 2100. He, he's lower rated than the other one, right? We've got a chance here. We tuck the bishop in, away from knight a5, if needed. Yeah, we're going to maneuver the knight, if needed, around here. Classic, playing f5. Fix these. The A4. Try and create some weaknesses over here. Probably D4 at some point. Taking. Maybe taking is possible. Potentially C3. Got some frontal pressure. Maybe this is not good. I don't know. Um, Queen E4 is always Knight of 6, D4 is always Knight of 6. Yeah, this Queen of 1 looks terrible on play. Maybe Knight takes E5 
which one of four? 95, 93. Oh, squish. Squish city. Squish city. Alert. Unless knight takes e5 is any good. It takes out centre pawn for a flank pawn. If he's, if he's going to play knight takes, it's a flank pawn. Oh, right, that just wins a piece. Oh, no, it doesn't. Hold on. He has to give that a piece to get that. Okay, queen here. Knight h5. Six. There's also rookie four. This 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 is all bad pieces. I was bishop h3, kind of probably winning the rook. Apart from that, everything was fine. Ah, uh, rookie four hitting the queen. There's queen h3. Where's f4 here? This this bishop is really a dead piece at the moment. We need d4, and bishop d3. D3. Actually, there's almost like f5 to queen f6. Takes. This is taking this diagonal here. Interesting. I think d4 first, just to try and liven up this bishop. And it's bishop d5. Hmm. Okay. Uh, bishop d5, so go here anyway. Oh, he's got c4. Put c4. Right. If f5, I think there's knight f6. 5, knight f6. Right, rook e3 for rook f3. For knight f6. This, this pin on, on here. 1 minute 6, 2 minute 45. So rook, rook d4, rook f3. Let's check. H2. Um. Hmm. That's d5 for knight f6 for queen d5. Stick with. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, nice. Uh, no, no idea. Okay. Uh, no, it looks looks pretty bad. Anything? Oh, uh, there's rook g6 happening. Uh, mind you, there's rook g3. Um, this looks gone. It's gone. Okay, it's gone, 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 gone. Can't take. So knight f6 for queen here. 28 seconds. And this is like back row stuff. About 14 seconds, not good enough. Well, it's a respectable position almost. Almost, except it's probably lost. <laughs> it's lost. Yep. Tough. 
tough. I shouldn't have berserked him. I shouldn't have berserked him. I think I should know the limits. You should know your limits. <laughs> Can't berserk that guy. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's because the torment's like one. I, I felt I, I didn't really mind so much. Let's not let's not default here. <clears throat> I think it's a general rule if they're over 2100 not to berserk them on five minute chess even if they're over 2100 it's nice sort of king's engine style attack threatening f4 winning the bishop in d4 blocking the bishop and sort of swinging the queen rounds for amazing attack um, that's good o although uh, I'm say something there. Uh, okay let's connect the rooks bishop e5 g3 queen h3 okay so g3 queen h3 get the queens off instead um because actually all right so h5 h4 So F force pretends, right? So just get the get some reverse parking for the bishop. Let's stop this. Alright, I'm just wondering about this F four and, and and this, but there's enough there's enough here to to, to move the bishop. Alright, so one minute thirty six. Try and play for g5 without this dropping. Oh, there's probably rook um, e3. Let's consider. Is it just to get d4? Right. Okay, take d3 here. There's a bishop d4 if we're d3. Mm. <clears throat> hmm. Um. Yeah, a couple of casualties that I shouldn't have. Sorry, I think I've deprived you of something there. Uh, berserking um, that guy. I've, I've deprived you of a more fighting game um, on the game before. Chess Pro, do you want. Uh... We've played on the ICC once <laughs> a few months back. Uh, I think you, you murdered me. <laughs> Uh, I was going to challenge chess bar for a game, but I don't think you'd be interested. What about like, um, <laughs> like half an hour each or something? <laughs> All right, comment, comments or questions on, on YouTube. Um, yeah.